This is Jeremy Drebinstead with Demco Products. In this video, we are going to cover the installation and troubleshooting of the wireless coach link on Demco's Air Force One supplemental braking system. Before we get started, we are going to want the diagram in front of us. As you can see, the wires are not color coded, so you will need to pay attention. Also, we want to make sure we don't forget the ground wire to the vehicle. Failure to wire this up correctly or forgetting the ground will cause the notification to not perform properly. Start by taking the brown wire that was ran through the firewall and using a butt connector, connect it to the brown wire on the reed switch. Next, take the black wire from the reed switch and using another butt connector, connect it to the red wire on the wireless coach link transmitter. Lastly, using the three-way buck connector, you will connect the blue wire from the reed switch, the white wire from the wireless transmitter, and the last wire will be the wire you use for the ground to the vehicle. You may now slide the reed switch into the reed switch clamp. To seat properly, it needs to slide in until the flathead screw is in the circle shape of the mount. Then take a flathead screwdriver and tighten it down to secure it. If you are having trouble sliding it in all the way, try loosening the screw and try again. To test the wireless coach link, you can plug it into the auxiliary plug in the towed vehicle. A green light will light up indicating that it is paired. Then lightly push on the brake pedal while you pull out on the back of the actuator. You will then see three lights illuminate on the coach link Now that you have tested and confirmed that the coach link is working, you can go ahead and mount the transmitter up under the dash on the towed vehicle. To do this, you can use Velcro or zip ties. Let's take a minute and go over the buzzer option. The coach link comes with an audible buzzer. It does have a seven second delay, so it doesn't make the audible sound immediately when pressing the brake pedal. The main idea behind this is that it can give you more of an alert should something happen, like a breakaway. However, it can be turned off on the back of the receiver with the flick of a switch, in case you're sitting in stop and go traffic or at a stoplight. Let's go over some common troubleshooting on the reed switch. If the light is staying on, first check your wiring and make sure you have it wired correctly. Also, Make sure that the reed switch is seated secure and correctly in the clamp assembly. A lot of times it just needs to be adjusted. You can fine tune the adjustment of the reed switch by loosening the clamp with a screwdriver and sliding it towards the firewall on the vehicle until it shuts off. Check to make sure it comes on correctly by lightly pushing on the brake pedal while pulling out on the back of the actuator. It should turn on within one eighth of an inch of movement. If you've checked the wiring and made sure the reed switch is secure and tried adjusting it and the light still stays on, try removing the reed switch from the clamp and hold a magnet up to it. This should shut it off. If it doesn't turn off like the light in this video, please give Demco a call. If your coach link isn't lighting up when you apply the brakes, here are a few things to check. First. Check to make sure it has power. The green light on the receiver should be lit up. If you have verified it has power, have someone press the brake pedal in the coach and confirm that the brakes in the towed vehicle are applying. If the brakes are applying in the towed vehicle, try testing the receiver by removing it from the coach and plugging it into the towed vehicle. You can do this by lightly pressing on the brake pedal and pulling out on the back of the actuator. It should light up. If it doesn't, check your wiring going to the reed switch on the actuator. If it is working in the towed vehicle, it is possible that something in the coach is interfering with the signal, like a GPS. Try moving it away from other electronic devices and try again. And if you continue to have problems, please give Demco a call.